Rosanna came a couple years ago. It's the first time we met her, and um, she was in need of a job, was struggling finding one on her own. She had a lot of medical issues and was looking for an employer that was flexible. Um, by the time she came onto the program, she participated, she did everything. She was with us maybe a week and a half, two weeks before she got a job, um, and that was at Menards, and she was off and running. But then uh, a few months back, she came to us again. Um, she'd been employed for about 18 months, but her medical issues were catching up with her, and lost her job through the time off that she'd had. And we finally convinced her to come in. She had been in contact and asking questions, so we, we got her in. Um, to get going again, and that's when she was they, uh, they also helped with emergency assistance, uh, which was kind of nice, uh, because I had a house fire uh, way back when, and I didn't know what to do. Like, I fell behind on my rent. Well, W2 was able to help me get caught up, uh, so that kind of boosted me up a little bit. I met her for emergency assistance. Um, we did her emergency assistance equipment and her EA equipment, or I'm sorry, emergency assistance and W2 equipment in the same day. Um, just to get her out and going on the program. Um, she had a fire, right? Yeah, she had a fire at her house um, and lost everything and has no sense rebuilt. Um, it's taken a little bit, but she's getting there. Um, she was on the program all about a week and a half, maybe, week, week and a half, and then went back to Andrea. <laughs> yeah, she got a job again right away. She's extremely motivated, extremely dedicated. Um, so she, both times she was on the program was very short term. Just um, determined. That's the she thing. She has a drive. Like, you just don't get she that. She's passionate. She's driven, she's determined, she wants to give her kids a better life. Um, doesn't matter what comes at her, her kids are her primary focus. Um, and she's not going to do anything to change that. She wants to make sure that everything that they have is better than what she's had. She is relentless. She will follow through and she is not afraid to ask for help when she needs it. Like I look at my kids and that's the reason why I do what I'm doing. And I won't stop till I get what I know they deserve and I deserve. That's the main thing. You just have to have the dedication and be more determined. So everybody's like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Keep your head up. <laughs> Always pull positive out of every situation, whether it's bad or good. Well, next year or so, I want to be out of city housing. Um, I do live in low income cause, just because I want to be able to save enough. I want my daughter to be strong enough, my son. I want us to be happy, really. Um, with all the help that I've received, my goal is to give back to those who have helped us, um, who I know I can. Like, I think that would be amazing. I really do. Um, I know within the last week the flooding we did help out with them, my kids and I did. Uh, that was pretty, my kids felt amazing after that, but um, yeah, basically be happy and still have the same job that I'm at now. <laughs> because every single time I come in that office, they're always checking to say hello to me. Um, I know if I don't talk to them in a week, which never really happens, but it did. They both emailed me, are you okay? Like, how's the job going? I mean, they are full of advice. Like with teleperformance, as you know, with that, my job, you know, there was a few complications. Andrea was so quick to say, you know, this is what, you, you know, I would advise you to do. Um, I'm not telling you what to do, but it's like, they tell me their side, and then it's like, but it's up to you, really, what you would do, but this is what, how I would do it, you know? That, I can't tell you how much that means to me, and I will forever be grateful for those two ladies, especially Andrea, because she was the one I first started working with when I came to 32, and it, then I was, had the opportunity and got lucky to meet Jenny, so it's like, two lovelies for a person. Congratulations, <laughs> Rosanna, on all your success from all of us here at Workforce Connections.